Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Alan Rosen. Welcome to CAD 117 in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Alrighty, we're continuing to work on module seven. Module seven is this working drawing. We take a look at the module contents. Here's our lab number seven, mechanical working drawings. We have our PowerPoint lecture. And as we take a look at this PowerPoint, our technical drawing learning objectives, we talk about isometric drawings. And isometric drawings are basically pictorials that give us the idea that we're looking at something in 3D, but we're really not. What we're really doing is using a perspective and an angle to create an isometric type drawing. So as we go through and we take a look at this, they show us the techniques for creating these different isometric drawings. And we decided that we would create these drawings in 3D using solid modeling. And so in chapter 11, we have this project as a capstone project. And so as we look at this project, we felt that it was a good point in the course to work on this working drawings in which we'll create an exploded assembly drawing using AutoCAD to create a bill of material and then represent our parts. And so this is very common in the field for mechanical drawing where we'll create these different models, we'll put a balloon on each one and a bill of material showing how that part is assembled. We'll use these different standards by ASME to create these working drawings. We'll use a table. And here is our project that we're working on. And so essentially, what we're doing is we're going to create a model of the toe stop base, the cleat, and the cleat pin. And then we'll create this parts list as a table. Again, I have parts with the dimensions and then some information as far as being able to go ahead and set up these different mechanical dimension styles for the project from the book. We're not gonna require the two dimensional drawings, the detailed drawings of each part, but it does go into quite a bit of information for that. We have videos. And so as you take a look at how am I going to do this project, Here's part one, part two, we take a look at that. And so we'll go through how to create these different working drawings. And it just seems that the D2L has some latency here. It seems the more I try, the harder it gets. So as far as module seven, 
we have the instructions located in the chapter 11 lecture. And then we have these different components. We'll use the B-size mechanical title block. We have the videos for you on how to create these different parts. We have our prototype drawing. And then as we take a look, these are bonus exercises. And so if we look at the gazebo, that's something that we've done in the past. You're welcome to work on that. Back to the main splash page. Alrighty. So that completes our Zoom meeting for today. If you have any questions or need any assistance, just email us and we'll be happy to work things out with a Zoom meeting or you're welcome to stop by in person. With that, I'm gonna stop the recording and open things up for questions.